Hey, Redcon Raider here. Today's video is dedicated to the Raiders, the fine folks who help make these videos possible. With special thanks to Revenant, Eloise, A Nerd in Warpaint, Dragon Matrix 7, Eerie V23, Excelsior, Goatlieb, Kazorm, Lima, Nathan Welch Jr., Thomas Piedkowski, Trip Hop and Skip, and Valenrook. Thanks for your support. That said, let's get started. And welcome back to Solasta, Lost Valley, as the adventure continues. Uh, we are currently four episodes in and on our third timeline, but, uh, but otherwise I think we're doing okay. We're currently set up just outside the Direwolf Den, not too far from where we met Gartok. And uh, we are currently setting our sights on filling out the rest of the current map, and possibly knocking a couple of things off our to-do list. Uh, real quick... I did take a long rest between episodes just to get our guys back up to full speed. And uh, I did some trading, too. I swapped out that plus one scale mail for the wand of identify we saw when we were poking through the forge's inventory. As much fun as it might have been to hold on to that armor, we'll get a whole lot more use out of that wand. Anyway, our primary goals today are to collect some feathers for Gartok find some sort of uh, second-rate adventuring corpse for the Forge, and then if we have time left over, we'll uh, swing by that local city that we have been told about. But that might be getting a bit ahead of ourselves. Let's see how this goes first. Well, we are seeing a giant nest and heaps of human bones. So that's a pretty good sign we're in the right place. Or the very wrong place. I guess it really depends on your perspective. I think it is fair to assume that we're in for another fight here, given the scenery. So we will move in short, controlled bursts. Okay, we've got giant crows. Interesting. Not something I think I've ever classically used in my own tabletop adventures. Much like the apes, I, I don't really have much point of reference for these guys. Well, we are not off to a great start here. We'll push for the nest. I also see we uh, surprised two of them, but not all four of them. Which means that surprise is now handled on an individual enemy basis, not by group, like the previous fight implied. Yeah, yeah. Let's uh, knock out the one near Mora first. And we'll draw the rest of them in. I'm trying to uh, control who they engage with first. Since we have a couple of uh, glass cannons on the party. Spiegel's bonuses are still on the frets. We might actually have to do a full resummon. And 
yeah, yeah, we want height advantage on our range attackers. Uh, I guess that wasn't high enough. But we did land the hit, so no complaints. There is a height advantage mechanic. I'm just not sure what the threshold is. It might be 10 feet. Plus, these are flyers, so that does kind of muddy the waters a bit. Okay, so I think these things have about 25 hit points. Eben. And yes, I think 25 hit points sounds about right. Yeah, I was uh, told about that. Essentially, one of the hidden advantages of Reckless Attack is that it's like a taunt. Oh my, yeah, that that's not great. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I've come around on Reckless Attack because I now understand that aside from just granting advantage, it also sort of goads enemies into attacking your, your designated tank, in this case, Thygor because they will preferentially target people they have advantage against. Though in this case, obviously, the, the final crow could not actually reach Thygor, so it just absolutely eviscerated Eben instead. Jeez. But that is uh, hopefully something we can take more advantage of in the future. Reckless, uh, reckless attack is a lot better than I thought it was at first glance. That's three. Let's go give Evan a hand. Natura Evo Curi. Natura Encho Malmi. That's risky. She could get slaughtered. Oh, let's uh, go for sleep. Hey, and just like that, we're fine. Igor, buddy. You know what? It's fine. We've, we've got this. too bad. A couple of nasty hits on Eben, but otherwise nothing we couldn't handle. And they were indeed birds of a feather. So that takes care of our quest for Gartok. 
Oh, he's making a giant pillow. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Uh, the logistics of making giant-sized furniture would be somewhat daunting. Definitely in the right area, though. Our journal is telling us to do this. Oh, right. Let's uh, recharge those fighter powers. There we go. Oh shoot, there goes Longstrider. I thought that would last longer. How long are short rests? I assumed it was like 10 or 15 minutes, but... I guess I'll have to keep that in mind. There we go. That looks promising. Hmm. Not what we were looking for, but we will take it. Okay, we've got ourselves a Poisoner's Kit. And a schematic for a Warhammer of Acuteness. Still no Forge Amulet. Let's check that uh, offshoot path there. Oh, I guess that's our, our world map exit. No actual exit grid, that's weird. But we might have to finish this forge quest first. Coltan and Quiver. Man, that is completely useless to us, but uh, we will take it. Endless Quiver of Colthannon. Enchanted by the ancient green mages of Colthannon, these quivers made sure they never ran out of arrows. Generates 20 arrows once an hour. 
So, if nothing else, that is a slow but steady supply of loot, I suppose. Oh, hey, and there's our forge amulet. As well as another plus one longsword. I guess that's just sales fodder, since we don't really need more than one. Nice, we, uh, we auto-ID'd it once we picked it up. I mean, that would be a slight step up for Eben. About the same damage, but a plus one to hit. I'm just not sure if versatile weapons are fully compatible with the great weapon stuff. I think we'll just sell it. Hold out for a proper magic great weapon. Hey, Gartok. Hello. You found? Good. Give you gold. Need something from city, but people hate us. What do you need from the city? Sewing kit. A what? Don't judge. We could probably get that for you. Pay you with pack of meat. Dried meat of ape. Dwarves love it. I think I heard that somewhere. See you, Gartok. Bye, little ones. Well, the uh, reward was nothing to crow about, but we did get a follow-up. That was somewhat unexpected. I wonder how that would have gone if we didn't speak giant. Samco? Clear skies. Bad news. We found their stuff. They're most likely dead, killed by roaming monsters. I was afraid so. You still earned your reward. Now, maybe you could help us with something else. A pack of hybrid wolves have been prowling around the camp. Already done. I'm impressed. I'd have you at my back hunting Remoraz for sure. Now... I have to tell you something. A secret. I'm a friend in Care Hifrid, part of a small club of ours. When you get there, go to the inn and ask for Kefrain. What inn? The Merry Remoraz, it's called. If you're looking for someone, or something, she can help. In exchange for? Same as you did for me, but probably higher stakes. Here's a letter for her. And give her my regards. Sure. Stay in the light, friend. Stay in the light. Really riding that Remoraz theme. That is a curious thing to keep name dropping. But yeah, we now have several reasons to go to the main city, so I guess that's where we're headed next. Oh, nice. She also gave us a bunch of stuff I didn't even notice. There's, there's the meat from Gartok. Thanks, buddy. We'll just dump that here. No point in carting it around. And we do now have access to the first tier of forge goods. Though nothing that's really jumping out at me just yet.
All right, let's have a gander at the items she tossed us. Well, that is definitely Dust of Disappearance. Basic one-shot consumable turns you and nearby allies invisible. Not sure about these, though. Let's go ahead and ID those. Bracers of Sparkles. Well, gosh, thanks. These bracers were used for ceremonial purposes in Termarian temples to light up the churches. I mean, I guess that does make for a good low-tier reward, but in our case it's completely obsolete because we already have two characters who can cast Sparkle at will. So that is just sales fodder. We are definitely not wasting an attunement slot on it. Okay, I think that's all there is for us to do here. At least for now. There is more stuff, but we can't actually do it just yet. We've also got some plants growing back, but we're not going to worry about that. In theory, the forge should collect it for us. So yeah, let's uh, get out to the world map. We should now be able to book it for Care Hufflepuff. Care Hifred. I was close. Apprentice Necromancer. Neither side surprised. Sure, why not? I'm always down for some unscheduled loot at XP. Interesting. I like that terrain. I am torn, though, on whether this would be a great place to camp or a terrible place to camp. Strategically, I guess it would be advantageous. Ow. All right, let's uh, stymie the approaching highwaymen. Natura muto malmes. Natura muto viribe. Good kill. Wow, that that. That was slightly more effective than I anticipated. Wow. <laughs> so I guess we'll just uh, focus on the casters then, because there is no way that other melee unit reaches us alive. Nice. Oh, sleep. Almost at us, too. Well, 
I would like to move Spiegel out into midair here, so we can attack the Apprentice from relative safety. But I'm not sure how to get him to move there. Alright, well, I'll just look that up later. There is a way to do it, I just don't recall. So how'd that work for you? Arcana, Evo, Malmus! Take that, Nimrod. I won't miss next time. Yeah, we're never getting that back. to grab that uh, concentration feat for Garvin at some point. going, buddy. You're the one who started this. Guys never stood a chance. Um, I am not sure if that fixed it or not, but I guess I guess we'll find out next time we get into a fight. Can we, uh, walk through this? Oh, right, I guess I could just... I can just cancel it. Yeah, we, uh, we may have just dodged a bullet there. That may have taken us to timeline four. As much fun as, uh, repeatedly dying under increasingly absurd circumstances might be, I think I'd rather look mildly competent. Like, mildly competent, not... Not too much. You don't want to overdo it.
Brittany. Oh my, so many new objectives. All right, let's uh, let's have a look here. Uh, meet the city's master. Someone we have not yet met has suggested we do so. Deliver meat to Henrik, right? Deliver package to Caprain. Buy three balls of sewing thread for Gartok. Right, I did. I did immediately forget about that. And then I guess we also keep an eye out for beetle-shaped keys. Guard Sergeant Valathir will be patrolling the market at midnight. Do what must be done. Ominous. Earlier today, five smugglers were executed for selling illegal products on the black market. Yeah, I guess that's fair. New in town, eh? Yep. I'm Rose. Just so you know, the law is a little strict around here. Beggars are still allowed, it seems. Uh-huh. <laughs> wow. People around here stick together if you catch my drift. So... If you need any advice... You're the go-to person. Sure am. More there, going for blood right out the gate. So, what do you do here? Me? Oh, I'm just a simple citizen. Doing my best to help my community. Welcome strangers! Ever heard of a stranger called Marin Ving? Nope. Doesn't ring a bell. What can you tell us about the city? It's the capital of the Dominion, Kaer Hifrid, ruled by our Lord Protector, Orinetus himself. Mostly populated by nobles, merchants, and craftsmen, along with some wealthy farmers, breeders. You're in the low city. There's a high city and the palace. You could sleep at the Merry Remraz. The owner is a friend. Thanks. What's there to know about the law? The Lord Protector, Orinetus, he's, uh, kind of strict. You should go to the palace and introduce yourself. Just so no one mistakes you for, I don't know, rebels. There are rebels? So I hear. Never met any. Fair enough. What was that about? We passed our insight check, but nothing actually happened. I guess that might imply Rose is a rebel. We need to go. What's your friend's name? Him? Drooly. He likes you. See you around. See ya. Oye, oye. The popular oh, okay. singer Hanik has been sentenced to be whipped for a seditious song performed at the music hall. Yeah, that'll happen. Hey, and you can pet the dog. Fantastic. Perfect game, 10 out of 10. Oye, oye. Last night, several citizens of Kaer Hifrid created trouble by shouting in the streets. They have been sentenced to a week in jail. So I am starting to pick up a bit of a theme with these announcements. Henrik. Hey there. Hello, strangers. What can I do for you? I got me some pretty nice big hands. Perfect for your travels. But I got plenty of other stuff, too. We've got a package of meat from Telarion. That's for you, right? 
Oh, you do? Fantastic. Dried ape ham. A delicacy for my halfling clients. Really? Ape ham? Well, more or less, very hard to find. Looks like there's plenty of apes down in the valley. Well, it's more that Talarian and his buddies don't want to come here. Why is that? Beats me. Ask him. Yeah, can't imagine why. You've got a good range of food here. I buy from people in the valley. Farmers and breeders. They have good stuff, but no one cures a ham like I do. We're looking for a human called Marin Ving. That's a strange name. Another stranger, I guess. Indeed. Sorry, never heard of him. Cool, thanks. Very helpful. How'd you like it here? The city? Well, we're safe from the monsters. How about your government? Yeah, yeah Lord Protector. He's all right. Fair enough. Can we see your wares? Just one thing, if you don't mind. I'm looking for some rare meat. We've got these huge bears in a nearby clearing. Some people here love that meat. If you could bring back some, I'd pay well. A hundred gold pieces a pound. We'll keep that in mind. Oh, yay. Oh, yay. A rebel spy was oh, we got a slight rep boost. That's nice. But sadly, this is a a cheap imitation knockoff, Henrik. Not the uh, not the original model we got used to back in Crown of the Magister. Also, uh, ape ham and bear steak. I'm uh, I'm certainly no vegetarian, but uh, I'm I'm not so sure about those. Oh, uh, sewing thread. Yes, we need three of those. We'll take that. I guess you can just hold on to those for now, Evan. You weird loot goblin. Oye, oye. A thief has been caught in the middle city. Both his hands will be cut off in the next public ceremony of contrition. The guard's rations have been tainted with cramp ward. Expect reduced guard strength for 24 to 48 hours. Hmm. reminds you all that Dominion reserves cannot be plundered, even to feed your families. Thieves will lose their hands. It does sound like the uh, Lord Protector has a very hands-off approach to dispensing justice. Oh, we have plate mail. And primed plate. There are to be no okay, we need primed plate and primed half plate once we can afford it. We'll also want to uh, bump our rep with the people more so we can get better prices on that. Which, honestly, I'd want to do anyway. 
So yeah, we're gonna need like 4,000 gold for armor. Oh yay! Oh yay! A gentle reminder from the offices of the Dominion Health Service. APAM has been denied a license and may not be sold in care history. I repeat, APAM is forbidden. Eh, nothing all that appealing on this one. Hello, strangers. My name is Tusnan Anforel, Master Historian. Okay. I've been assigned to the Felag Outpost. Expect a report on guard strength and weak point soon. Peleg Outpost. Oye, oye. To relieve pressure on the courts, there will be no more trials for disloyalty or treason. All those accused shall be executed without trial. Very efficient. Clear skies, adventurers. What can this lady get you? How are things around here? The usual. Soldiers making trouble. Nobles coming down to bully my clients. Backed up by his lordship, the non-protector. Dangerous words. Like I care. I got myself a good axe here. Let him come for me. Sure. Yes, that does seem like the most prudent response in this situation, Thygor. Thank you. Just passing by. We hear this is the place to be. Uh-huh. Sure is. The only tavern for regular folks, you mean? We should go. Strike true. Strike true? Oye, oye. I will say, she is uh, unusually confident, given the circumstances. That does seem to imply she has some sort of protection. Clear skies. I mean, aside from the axe. Hello, Kafrain. We have a letter from Samko. That's me. She seemed to appreciate our work. She has good instincts. You have to as a huntress. And sometimes, you have to take a chance. A chance? Yes. Are you aware of the, shall we say, the dynamics of the valley? The fact that your beloved Lord Protector isn't that beloved? Exactly. There are many who oppose him. Okay, here we go. The Forge seems to be a force to be reckoned with. The Forge has power, true enough. Why do I hear an unspoken but there? Because there is one. The Forge is too interested in its business deals to risk anything by taking sides. They walk a tight rope the whole time, always hedging their bets. Seldom taking a gamble. They're not about to rock the boat. We heard about a rebellion. Indeed, but don't let them fool you. In their own ways, they are as bad as Orinetis. How come? A thousand years after the Cataclysm, they still cling to the Manicalan ideal. Why do they oppose the Lord Protector then? Because they think they are the true heirs of the Empire. Whatever that means. Interesting. The people seem unhappy with the Lord Protector. They mean well, and certainly they don't have it easy. But they are weak, and not prepared to take decisive action. They fear reprisals. So, critical of every group. Are you an independent? 
That's my gamble. Samco and I work for... another party. And what makes this one different? Ever heard of us before? No, of course you haven't. But we've heard of you. And we will make this valley a better place for everybody. Except, of course, the Lord Protector and his goons. And talking about goons... Yes? Well, do you want to help us? Sure. Then fetch a particular document from the Ice Princess's officers. The Ice Princess? Ever met Commander Malarial Brogorad? You have spies in the City Guard? Don't ask too much too soon. Bring me the papers, and we'll talk more. We're kind of unwelcome up there. Really? Shame. Well, if you find a way, we'll talk again. We'll see what we can do. Good. Happy hunting. Yeah, the, uh, the dialogue is a bit more disjointed than I'd like, but I am getting the broad strokes. That was essentially a, a faction primer for what I guess are the five main factions. The people, the rebels, the forge, uh, the Lord Protector, and then whatever mysterious outfit she's working for. The talk of Care Hifrid's lower city. Come see Hannock, the greatest singer of them all. Tonight at the Music Hall, a show of music, dance, and wit. A new take on the classics. A good time to be had by all. Let's all share a good laugh, as we should every day. And unless I'm mistaken, Hannock is the bard who got whipped for singing seditious songs. So I guess that uh, didn't work out quite the way he was hoping it would. Brograd and the Lord Protector met for two hours. I overheard the words Crackdown and Rebels. Hmm. Brograd is the Ice Queen? Helgrim, my love. Your letter was so welcome. We fear for you. But we know you fight for us all. Okay, so I guess Helgrim is our spy. Subtle. Hannock's Tunes. List of songs. 1. Earth, Wind, and Fire, but no water. 2. It's Raining Dwarves. Three, never gonna give hope up. Four, Hifrid Ballet. Five, Freedom. Six, Sneaking High and Low. Seven, Great Great Balls of Fire. Eight, These Boots Are Made for Sneaking. You know, not exactly the um, most clever parody titles I've heard, but uh, but there's a couple in there I wouldn't mind hearing. Dear Hannock, I know you think I'm crazy, but I found her. I found that witch who hurt us so much. I even managed to learn her name, Agatha. And now I'm pretty sure I know where to find her hut. Wish me luck, dear brother. This will end soon, one way or the other. I'm going to find her. I'm going to get her, get her. With my love, always. And you forgot to sign the letter. We'll have to keep an eye out for Hannock, because that does sound like a quest hook. Also, when did we, uh, when did we get this? I guess Caffrain must have given it to us for delivering that package. Oh, yeah. 
Stone of Good Luck. A magic charm made with a green stone in the shape of a four-leaf clover. Miss I gave the first of these stones to her high priest as a sign of favor. Plus one to ability checks and savings throws. Okay. Well, that's... That's just handy for pretty much anyone. I guess we'll uh, toss that to Mora. She is our rogue and our talker. So I feel like she would make the best use of that plus one on skill checks. Though it would be nice to have one for Eben, too. And short rests are an hour. That's good to know. Alright, that's pretty much the entire lower city. We just have this one guy left. Let's have a quick chat with him, then I think we'll be at a good stopping point. Oye, oye. Two thieves were arrested yesterday. The Lord Protector reminds you all that Dominion reserves cannot be plundered, even to feed your families. Thieves will lose their hands. Delightful. Hold it, strangers. Who are you? We are lost travelers, wanting to pay our respects to the Lord Protector. Strangers, eh? Fine. You're free to go. Stay in the light. Oh, that was easy. All newcomers in the city must present themselves at the high gate to be questioned by the authorities. There are to be no exceptions. Yeah, so by law, we would have to present ourselves to the Lord Protector anyway. I'm not sure why we told uh, Caffrain that we weren't welcome up there. I mean, yeah, the dialogue is still definitely the weak point of Lost Valley, just like it was with Crown of the Magister. But there is a lot to like. I mean, the game itself is still solid. The interpretation of the 5th edition D&D rule set is exceptional. That said, we're uh, past time. We've checked several things off of our to-do list and uh, added a few new ones. So uh, I think we're at a good stopping point. We'll hit the pause button for now. I will take care of some off-screen bookkeeping, but uh, we will pick up here next time as we uh, head to the upper city to meet the fabled Lord Protector. Hopefully we'll survive the encounter, but I did notice earlier that the town crier was yelling it's illegal to sell ape ham which was like the first thing we did when we walked into town. So, um, yeah, that, that might be a problem. But uh, I guess we'll see how that goes. See you then. Oh, and remember... Although I do love playing Solasta, Lost Valley, you can find out more about the game by visiting the official website, the official social media feeds, or the official store pages. And if you'd like to help support the channel, then feel free to push the buttons that do the things, or maybe even check out the Patreon. Links are in the description. I think I heard that somewhere. <laughs>